Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas 2018. out the way I want it to but I'm trying gotta get through it somehow I'm watching Nanny she's currently making my life much easier to deal with and I love her love her for that god bless you anyway um just chilling see you in a bit bye for this side i'm gonna do like pictures quotes and stuff and then the rest of those and maybe get some more lights so yeah And I'm gonna get my PJs on and I'm going to bed. I'm gonna miss it first. See you in a bit. Bye. And Ernest T. Bass is up on that roof. Okay. I'm gonna ding him with one of these BBs out of his slingshot right between his fat little fucking eyes. Well, come to find out he had learned the lesson. He wasn't up on the goddamn roof. He was over down the street doing a free show in a muffler shop parking lot. Oh, and I must mention that he had also somehow gotten my home number. And me. Something happened the night we were supposed to record, and then Houston Texans, where they went out there and won the game for their dead owner, makes a feel good story. And on Thursday night, they showcased them to the world. That's what you're saying, right? And, and, uh, and I don't know how many times last night they also saw and we were watching it, and I pointed it out to him, <laughs> and he's like, "My God, you're right. They're just standing there watching. They're telling people get back, let him hang him." Right. <laughs> <laughs> right like it's it's funny when you look at it all these years later because uh, you, you're older you're wiser and you think to yourself maybe they should have did it but maybe they should have involved the police to once they realize what dirty white boy is doing the yeah. police kind of intervene that way it kind of saves face a little you still get the effect you're not going to get Tom hung for 30 40 seconds but <laughs> you know what I'm saying I think a lot of it too had to do with the change of ownership. If you go back and listen to the uh, between the sheets that I just did about the, he came and saved the day. He got the door open for the baby faces to get in. Yeah. So they went that extra step and that extra step of realism to make sure that the police officer was involved in, you know, people don't put any heat on the cop for just standing there watching it happen yeah 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 that that makes sense that makes sense i mean because it does you look at it and you know a man's committing trying to murder someone and the cops yeah, just watch it's it. an attempted murder yeah. <laughs> oh man could Good you stuff. imagine somebody doing that now on national tv oh absolutely not man i mean yeah. the uh the pc police the outrage police uh, are you kidding bo Twitter would explode. <laughs> and, 
And if you have the full episode, you know, when they come back from break, they have Gordon Soley apologize for what you just saw. You know, it's just, but different time, different place. Oh, you, you yeah, different time, different place. You couldn't dare do, you know, your heel beating up his valet uh, angle or the hanging or the plastic bag that Terry Funk suffocating people with, you know, that kind of stuff you, you could not get away with today. Yeah, I think it's a good point. It's more than just the hanging part that you couldn't get away with. It's the insinuation of of a female being, uh, you know, beaten and bruised and battered. I mean, you could that that wouldn't fly along with then what happened. I mean, I think because I think at one point Tom says something like um I think you need to call a a rape a rape hotline or didn't he say something? <laughs> it uh, wasn't I think he said but, family crisis. Family, okay, I thought it was rape yeah. crisis, but I'm, I, I could no, be wrong. I think okay. you said family crisis. You need to go. Uh, okay. but, they, but they had did stuff before the hanging to where white boy would grab Kim and, and yell at Hey, guys. Her. What's up? And, uh, just should. I'm so tired. I need a nap. A really big we nap. In, uh, terrible, so don't mind that. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my mom. And then Saturday night, yeah, we were in Pulaski, Virginia, which is the oldest. I really wish we didn't have family about stuff to do this week. Some miles from the Tri City, so I'm tired. I'm sorry. We're do these days ah. on in the cigar. That's what he looks like. <laughs> but the whole way down the road, and I'm driving, and I mean I'm flying. He's asking Ricky, like, "Hey, Jim Cornette hit you with that tennis racket?" Does it hurt? So he's the biggest Ricky Morton mark on the planet. The biggest one ever, still to this day. <laughs> so we're driving. You know, and so we get to Bristol. I mean, we're flying. We get to Bristol, but it's like 25 miles to Johnson City. And I look and I said, Rick, we need gas, like right now. We won't make it. I said, no, we need it now. We're, we're, so I had to whip into a place. We're still in our gear. So Ricky's like, run in, pay off on What's up? I'm home. It's currently 8.33 p.m. Uh, and so ends Vlogmas Day 21. See ya!